Hi everybody. Uh, I wanted to do another video about um, Webtoon and contrast that with um, Tapas, uh, which is another um, website that you can post um, web comics to for free. And uh, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, I've been on here, and this is the front page of Webtoon. Um, in the front page of uh, so um, I've been on Webtoon for about a month now, and I'm pulling that. so I've got uh, almost 1,200 subscribers. Um, the page views down here are always just a little bit higher than the subscribers, which is a good thing. I think that probably means that most subscribers are actually reading every time I put up a page. So every, this is per update, so um, it's a good thing. Um, on top of us, I've been up here. Let's see, how long have I been up here? Uh, 11 episode. let's see, let's see, uh, what was the date, let's show all, I started on September 13th, and so, um, today is the 20th, so, um, it's been a couple weeks, roughly, um, so with Webtoon, here's the thing I've learned, so Webtoon has, <clears throat> Webtoon has apparently been around since 2004, it's a, um, neighbor, uh, is the company that, uh, I think the parent company, it's the, uh, from what I've read, the largest, um, Korean internet provider. And, um, they started this, started Webtoon in 2004, so they have been around for a long time. Still not sure where they get the revenue from, but, um, they've, they've built up an audience. It's very interactive. Want to read comics, interact with them, um, leave comments. Uh, I get, I get, a lot of comments, and I um, I went through. Let's see if I can go back to my. Let's see if I go to way the last. Uh, so here I'm 1.1. 1 .1, I got 53,000 views. Still pretty high rating. Um, and I asked at one point. I put, posed a question, uh, just where everybody was from. So I think, is this the one? So just curious. Uh, what country? So I had 69 people um, so far respond. Well, these are I hadn't seen Serbia, Finland, Denmark, uh, Mexico, Canada. U.S., U.S., Ireland, India, um, but lots of very responsive um, uh, people that want to interact, France, Philippines, Bangladesh. So it's a, it's a worldwide audience, um, and of course, coming from Korea, it's, it's uh, you know, come around the world to us, I guess, over here in the U.S. So, uh, <clears throat> so anyway, I just want to do a video just kind of outlining how the experience of Tapas and Webtoons kind of contrast. Because I'm still uh, toying with the idea of uh, distribution with the webcomic. Because uh, I have it on my own website at weedandlast.com. But that's like, I think I mentioned it in another video, that's a whole different challenge. Getting people to come to your site. Um, as opposed to going where the people already are. And they are definitely on Webtoon. Um, Tapas is, was mentioned um, by a viewer. Thanks, Jim. Who... Uh, mentioned, you know, chopping it up on top of us. Same, <clears throat> you, the couple of differences. Uh, with top of us, if I can get the front page here, they do novels. So there's comics and then there's novels. So if I click on just a random novel here, um, it's basically just people self-publishing novels. Um, which I've never seen like a online self-publishing novel platform. Um, but this combines comics and, and the novels. Um, it's the same setup as far as um, the contract, you own everything, they're not taking any um, money, uh, or I'm sorry, they're not taking any, it doesn't cost anything, but they, they, they're they not taking any rights, so uh, they're basically using your content as you, you put it up there and then aver you know you draw people in and there's there is advertising on this site, so you could probably see I don't know if I go down further, but <clears throat> I've noticed that when you read things, especially if you read it on the phone, uh, there are ad small ads. They're not very intrusive, but here, once you get up to um, uh, 100 subscribers, you can unlock ad revenue. Um, I'm at 32 right now. They also do, you can either choose, I think, ad revenue or a tip jar, so users can you know, throw a little money your way, or you can you know, generate revenue uh, just from... from traffic. Uh, it has been a much 
slower burn on top of us. Let's give it like a performance here, and I'll give it a performance on way in the last if I can get here to the dashboard. So right from the get go, like I had, um, I think within a week, I I know within a week I had a hundred subscribers on Webtoon. Uh, I've been up here a little over a week on top of us, and I've gotten thirty. 32. So if you look at, uh, sorry for switching so fast there, there we go. All right, so if you look at um, Tapas, the the longer something sits up, like this one went up just today. It's had two, two views. Um, yesterday's has 23. So you know, further back you get, the longer it sits there, the more views you have. Comments, uh, you know, one or two, never more than three. People aren't as engaged. No shares. Likes, you know, are low as opposed to I think I've got 4,774 likes on We the Last on Webtoons. People like hitting the, the like button. Um, I, I'm i not sure. I I don't know that if Tapas notifies you with a push notification on your phone when one of the comics you are subscribed to goes live. Webtoon does. That may be a difference. Uh, Tapas still may do that. I just don't think, I don't get the feeling that the fan base, which is probably still a large group of users for Tapas, I, it's it's just a different vibe than Webtoon. Um, I don't know if it's probably not as big, but it's big enough to where um, the, you know, some of these still have lots of views. So, um, let me try to find one. Let's try to find a, uh, I'm trying to find one that's not going to be, you know, <laughs> I don't want to stumble on something that's not appropriate here. But All right, so this has been viewed 11 Point five million times. Wow, um, there's 24. So there's definitely people on here. Um, wonder how long this thing has been on here altogether. It's, let's go all the way top. So if you've got something that's been viewed 11 million times, the very first thing of oh, 2016. So it's been up here for um, you know a year and a half. Um, so just a, just a couple of things. A couple of the differences uh, too is. Webtoon. So I'm going to be, um, you know, when I go out of town for conventions, I got one coming up. Uh, I'm going to be in Baltimore this weekend. Um, and you cannot, so if I go to add an episode, you can't, unless I've completely missed it, which I haven't, you can't schedule, right? You have to upload right then and there, hit it, you can't schedule. The nice thing about Tapas is you can go through, and if I want to go to my dashboard, no oh, way, I'm already there. There, there we go. So, if, um, here, if I go to my series, I want to add something. I can. Oh, what do I do that? I can um, schedule. So I can actually go. I could go and schedule the entire thing. That's really nice. Which I will do that um, before I leave. Uh, but Webtoon, I just mentioned in the comment, I'm going to be, you know, not updating. People are like, you know, they're not going anywhere, so they'll get notified when it goes back up. So um, I am. Wondering, because again, these kind of um, sites where you basically publish through their website to the audience that's already there, what other websites like that? If you know of any, leave it in the comments, let me know. Um, I'm really gravitating more towards, basically, it's, it's almost like syndication. You know, um, I mentioned in another video where if you go to Webtoons, you know, or it's like publishing in a newspaper. You don't set up a newspaper and you know, back when people actually read newspapers. <laughs> but you don't set up a, a newspaper in, you know, somewhere in Georgia and then try to get people from Washington, D.C. to drive down to get your, read your paper. Um, you syndicate things, you know, the successful comics and articles think are syndicated to different places where people already are. And um, so that's kind of what I'm, the approach that I'm kind of taking with William Lask, especially since I'm getting ready to, um, William Lask is going to be published, um, print wise so I keep dropping little you know hints here and there that um, uh, trying to build up the audience that would be willing to uh, to spend the money but um, I would recommend if you have a um, if you have a webcomic try to put it up in different places and just make sure you read the terms of service that they don't take ownership and you know it all you retain all creative rights and everything to it um, <clears throat> but uh, likes. See, I'm trying to see. Uh, nothing much going on there. All right, but uh, here's kind of what you get. This 
as opposed to um, you know a much slower I think process building up an audience here, but there are people there. So I would recommend tapas. Uh, just got to be consistent. Um, so if you have any experience yourself with either of these or with um, uh, another one, let me know what, what your experience is. Let me know how, if you read on these, how you, you know, what your reading habits are like. And if you use tapas, let me know, uh, you know, how, how you like it as a reader um, or a publisher. But um, lots of, lots of comics on here. They, uh, let's see. Oh, somebody liked that. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it for, uh, you know, yeah, I'm just sitting here looking at the, the, the front page, too. If you look at the front page of Tapas, the very first thing you see, though, is basically you're trying, they're trying to get you the app. And the spotlight is one thing. And you scroll down, there's the trending, but it just, I don't know, this one seems... I like how Webtoon tells you how many times something's been liked. I like that they have the schedule here, because Webcomics is a very much on-schedule kind of thing. They've, I think just the front page is just a lot more engaging and bright, and basically says, hey, come check out some comics, whereas when you come to Tapas, the first thing is, hey, check out Tapas and all this. And they get, you know, top ten things listed, but it's, um, hmm. And you can't, oh, that's another thing, too. Um, you can't buy things uh, on here, so when you start, you get, what, these 400? You can buy more, but you can spend money on how things, I guess it's the premium, the premium, um, let's see if this you actually have to buy, no, I don't know, I need to look into that, uh, there is a, like a premium kind of thing here, um, this has two episodes, now here, this is interesting, this has, um, 1,600 subscribers, and it's been a, it's had two episodes of how long are they? Eh, pretty long. Hmm. Let's see if this are this guy has a person who has other books. It has two series. Okay, so maybe it is playing new premium series. Let's see the Witch's Bakery and see how it did. How long has it been? Okay. Okay, so they've got nine thousand subscribers on this one, and this one has been up for a long time. Okay, so they've so it looks like you can build up an audience and parlay that into another title. And you have a leg up. It's like, you know, one success and one thing. Can we put, um, going to parlay it into the next thing, which would make sense. So, um, that's probably the case on Webtoon as well. I'm actually getting ready to launch another, like a, um, there was a comic I was doing for my Patreon, um, thing and I, I kind of changed track with that because I, I it was black and white and I'm making it color and I'm going to format it specifically as an experiment for webtoon and see if I can generate you know now that I've got a thousand subscribers maybe see if that one takes off faster uh, and then I'll be just something that'll go up a week so yeah I'm, this is a big experiment I'll keep you all updated um, as I learn things and you know how what what's been working and, and stuff um, webtoon 2 um, People love to leave comments, but when you get like this, okay, let's say, you, you know, look at these likes, like this one episode gets 23,000 likes. Okay, so let's say you're there, you've read this thing, and you're the creator, right? And you get down to the bottom here, and let's see, people are leaving comments. Well, like, if, uh, look, they got like 1,600, over 1,600 comments. Um, it's very hard for a creator to keep up with that. And I don't think, someone told me uh, on here, one because I was asking my audience questions about it, and... They um they said they they don't really expect a just you know, a, a response um and um it's really really nice when you do and also this person did, this person did not leave a comment so leaving a little somebody else because I always leave a little comment you have a space for a creator um, comment and when I I always write something and somebody mentioned that they really like that I did that apparently. A lot of them don't. So anything you do that, that just you know engage with your audience a little bit, and 
the more successful that your comment comes, it's going to be almost impossible to, you can't spend all your time commenting thousands of comments over and over. But um, I don't have that problem yet. So anyway, uh, just a quick, uh, quick video on that. Uh, and uh, I will have some convention videos going up um, over the course of the weekend because I'll be traveling and I always do those convention videos. And um, if you uh, have any insight into this, that anything I haven't mentioned, any questions, anything that you're curious about, just leave it in the comments and uh, hit the subscribe thing. Let's see if I can get it right. The subscribe thing should show up right over here somewhere. Um, or check out some of the videos over here that I will show up when I do that. Um, check out some of the other videos, subscribe, hit the bell, which is way down below there that lets you know if you've subscribed when I actually update. So you can subscribe to your subscription, which makes no sense, YouTube. All right, that's it. I am out.